Hi, welcome back to NCRT class 10th chapter number 13 Magnetic Effects of Electric Current. Children, in the earlier class we have studied uh, what is mean by magnetic field and also we have studied magnetic field lines means what along with that we have came to know their properties. Isn't it children? With this previous knowledge, we will start in today's class uh, one more topic called magnetic field due to a current carrying conductor children as i said earlier conductor means what here it is nothing but a it's a material means you can take it as a metallic wire here means the material which allows current to pass through them that is called as a conductor in all these activities we are going to use metallic wire as a conductor so when i say conductor means you have to imagine it as a metallic wire children okay uh, we have learned that an electric current produces what magnetic field in a conductor isn't it children in order to understand that let us perform one more activity here we are going to learn uh, that is if there is a change in the direction of the flow of a current is there change in the magnetic field direction that we are going to study under this children so let us move into the activity children here we need to take a two to three cells children each of them having a 1.5 volts and a plug key and a copper wire means long straight copper wire we need to use children and a compost has to be placed just parallel to and over to the copper wire now what we have to do we have to plug the key see children when we close the plug what happens the current starts flowing in a circuit because it has now become a closed path isn't it children the current starts moving children here we have drawn two cases in the first case you have to uh, note it carefully that the arrows are representing what here current the flow of a current these are different from the second one isn't it children in the first case the current started flowing from positive terminal to negative terminal and in this way means just imagine that this is the upper one is what north side and this left one is what here west direction and the right one is what east and the lower one as a south just imagine the direction this is what the upside of the wire is can be called as a north direction the lower end of the wire can be um taken as a so whereas the left one is what west and the right one is what east you can even get the picture from this isn't it children okay when the current starts here in the first case children current is flowing in this way means the current starts flowing from north to south understanding children now what we have to do we have to observe the compost needles deflection when we have to observe children when the current starts flowing from north to south isn't it we have to observe the needle deflection in the compost it has experimentally found that children when the current starts flowing from a north direction to south direction the compost needle north pole has started deflecting from north to east because this is east side isn't it children the compost needle north pole has deflected towards the east isn't it children now this is what the first case understanding children uh, one means you can take here roughly when the current starts flowing from north to south the deflection is what in the compost the deflection is what from north to east isn't it children this is what the first case we came to know now we have to uh, understand what happens if there is a change in the direction of the flow of current means if there is a reversal of a current will takes place means we need to change the position of the terminals that is what the second figure tells that isn't it initially this side is what 
the positive terminal now we have placed the negative terminal here so in the second figure the current starts flowing in this direction these arrows are representing children the flow of a current in the second figure you can observe that the current will start moving from south to north isn't it children this is all what imagine it as a south it is moving to north so at that case we have to note down uh, we have to observe the deflection in the compost it has experimentally found that children when the current starts moving from south to north the deflection has started moving from north to west children understanding children my point in the second suppose if the current starts moving from south to north what is the deflection children that is what north to west see children here we have changed the direction of a flow of current initially the current was flowing from north to south but in the second case it is the current is flowing from south to north isn't it in the first case the needle has started deflecting from north to east isn't it whereas in the second case the needle has started deflecting north to west the one which has deflected initially north to east now in the second case due to reversal of a direction of the current it the deflection in the compass also got reversed because of that reason north to west the deflection has started isn't it children so by making this activity we can conclude that if there is a change in the flow of a current direction then we can observe there is also change in the direction of the magnetic field or we can understand that the direction of the um, current if we reversed we can found what there is also change in the deflection of the compass needle so with this knowledge we will now study what children under three cases suppose if the conductor is what straight what would be the direction of the magnetic field suppose if the conductor is of a circular then what is the pattern in that and similarly coil means solenoid what is the pattern of the magnetic field we will learn children now we will study magnetic field due to a current through a straight conductor see children it is clearly saying that the conductor what type of a conductor we are going to use which is of a straight in form so here we are going to study what is the pattern of the magnetic field if the conductor is of kind straight and after this we are going to study if the conductor is in the form of a circular then what is the pattern of the magnetic field over that we will study and at third we will going to study if we used coil as a conductor what is the pattern of the magnetic field in that we will study so one by one we will study children first comes what straight conductor so in order to understand the pattern of the magnetic field in case of a straight conductor we need to perform a simple activity using a a long straight copper wire uh, which are noted as a ends the ends of the wire are noted as a xi wire and a variable resistance ammeter and a battery and a plug key we need to use children and the care should be taken that children the wire has to be fixed exactly center of the uh, plane of the cardboard this is what children a b c d you can imagine just this is what the plane of the cardboard so at center what we have to fix the uh, straight copper wire we have to insert children and now the variable resistance ammeter all of them have connected in a series after doing so we have to plug the key 
means once we plug the key what happens the current starts flowing so when there is a flow of a current means there is also what the magnetic field is generated over here means the magnetic field can be produced then how can we come to know whether there has produced magnetic field or not if produced what is the pattern we want to know isn't it children so in order to understand that let us you some iron fillings isn't it children with the help of a sprinkler you can sprinkle over the cardboard means upon this wire you have to sprinkle some iron fillings as soon as when you sprinkle the iron fillings you have to tap the cardboard slightly children isn't it means the iron fillings starts aligning themselves because there is a flow of a current in the circuit due to this flow of a current the magnetic field has generated means the magnetic field lines will take some pattern means they will take some alignment isn't it children and that alignment here is called what concentric circles then how can we come to know isn't it children when we bring compost say at a point p isn't it children if we bring a compost say uh, at the point p and the direction of the magnetic field is in the form of a clockwise isn't it children so we can conclude that when there is a flow of a current suppose if the conductor is taken as a straight wire straight wire then the pattern of a magnetic field is what children concentric so what is the pattern concentric circles so children what is the pattern of a magnetic field in case of a straight conductor concentric circle these circles are nothing but a concentric circles means the pattern of the magnetic field in case of a straight conductor is what concentric circle this is very important children in one mark you may get question what is the pattern of a um, magnetic field in case of a straight conductor then you have to answer concentric circles okay now when we bring the compost near to the wire isn't it children the deflection has increased isn't it it means that if current increases means the deflection also increases in other words we can say that the magnitude of the magnetic field increases with the increase in the flow of a current isn't it children suppose if we reverse the connection if we change the flow of a current direction then also the deflection will get reversed children and moreover suppose if we bring the compost away from the wire isn't it children when we are, say initially the p is a very closer point to the wire now we are bringing away from the wire means the distance from the wire has increased isn't it children so at that time what is the strength of the magnetic field it decreases children you have to remember children if the distance increases means magnetic magnetic field will decreases isn't it children if distance increases means magnetic field decreases so what happened the deflection also got reduced here when the distance got increased the deflection in the compost needle what reduced or decreased so we can say that children uh, it is inversely proportional here and one more thing we have we want to note down children here as we move away from the wire there are formation of a larger and larger concentric circles isn't it when the distance got increased it means um larger and larger concentric 
circles will form isn't it children this is when when we move away from the wire away from the wire isn't it means the main things in this activity you have to understand children the pattern of the magnetic field is concentric circles in the straight conductor and if the current increases means deflection in the compass increases and the magnetic field at that point will be more if the distance increased means the magnetic field reduces means deflection in the compass will reduces isn't it and in other words we can say that larger and larger concentric circles will form when we move away from the copper wire isn't it children now after learning this we want to note down what is the direction of the magnetic field we have learned up to now what here there is a some pattern of a magnetic field now we will we want to know what is the direction means in which direction the magnetic field is moving so it can be easily studied by right hand thumb rule children children after learning the magnetic field due to a current carrying straight conductor now it is time to know the direction of the magnetic field isn't it children we learned that in the straight conductor the magnetic field or in a concentric circles pattern then what is the direction of this magnetic field in order to understand that we need to study about right hand thumb rule understanding children it is this rule means the rule which specially tells about the direction of the magnetic field is called what the right hand thumb rule it is also called as a maxwell's cork screw rule you know children the cork screw is just a what a metallic thing which is uh, at the um, it is specially used to open the bottles isn't it children when we are driving the cork uh, it will give the direction of the current whereas the rotation of the cork screw will give what here the direction of the magnetic field means in terms of the Mag uh, maxwell's cork screw how it is going to define as stated okay now we will discuss how can we define the or state the right hand thumb rule imagine that children if we are holding a current carrying straight conductor in our right hand imagine the children here this chalk piece as a current carrying wire means conductor i have holded in my right hand such that this finger means thumb finger will give the direction of the flow of a current understanding children the thumb finger this finger is called thumb finger this finger thumb finger will give the direction of the flow of a current whereas the remaining fingers which are wrapped inside isn't it children means these four fingers also enclosed inside means they are curled inside will give the direction of the magnetic field got it children very easy children it is very very convenient rule to in order to find the direction of the magnetic field okay once again i'll repeat children imagine that if you are holding a current carrying straight conductor in your right hand such that the the thumb finger will give the direction of the flow of a current whereas the remaining fingers which are wrapped inside will give the direction of the magnetic field when you look at the picture it is clearly saying children the thumb is giving what here the direction of a current isn't it in short you can take here thumb finger what it will give direction of a flow of current whereas the fingers which are enclosed or wrapped inside will give the direction of a magnetic field isn't it children the direction of magnetic field understand children 
what right hand thumb rule says it is easy that imagine if we imagine a current carrying conductor holded in our right hand means the thumb finger will give us the direction of a current and similarly the remaining fingers will give the direction of a flow of a uh, sorry the direction of a magnetic field got it children now we will see the two possible cases suppose if the current is moving upwards isn't it children then what is the direction of the magnetic field suppose imagine the children the current is moving vertically downwards to upwards isn't it children this is what upward direction isn't it this is nothing but a current isn't it children then at the time the magnetic field see children are you looking here okay see imagine that in this direction the current is flowing so how can i uh, show my hand now right hand this thumb finger is indicating the direction of a flow of current where is the remaining fingers which are enclosed inside means this is the direction of the magnetic field got it children and this is what anti clockwise anti clockwise so when the current flows vertically upwards the direction of the magnetic field is what children anti clockwise got it children how to know the direction of the magnetic field we have to use our right hand such that the thumb should be the direction of the flow of a current whereas the remaining fingers will give us what the direction of the magnetic field similarly when we take if the current is flowing from upwards to downwards means if the current flows vertically downwards isn't it children see now this is what the direction of the flow of a current means these fingers are moving in this direction means these fingers are curled inside means the direction of the magnetic field is in this direction isn't it this is what clockwise direction got it children it's very easy remember this uh, you know the clockwise and the anti clockwise in the wall if the hands are moving 1 2 3 as this order we call it as a clockwise if it is reverse means that is called as a anti clockwise so if the magnetic field is moving in this means the direction of the magnetic field is what children clockwise similarly when the current flows upward direction then the direction of the magnetic field is what reverse anti clockwise now we will solve a simple problem based upon this concept imagine uh, a current is flowing through a horizontal line from east to west means this is what east direction and this is what west and this is north and a south isn't it children the current is flowing from east imagine this is what east and this is what west direction this arrow line is indicating what the direction of a current so what is the direction of the magnetic field when you look at above the wire and also below the wire so what you have to do children you have to stretch your right hand in the direction of a flow of a current you have to point your thumb finger see children i have stretched my right hand and placed the thumb finger in the direction of the flow of a current and these fingers are understanding children these fingers are moving in this way means they are wrapped inside means this front vein is called what here clockwise so when you look at from the east or above what is the direction of the magnetic field when you look at at east direction the flow the direction of the magnetic field is clockwise isn't it children because see these fingers are moving in this way means they are clockwise direction and when you look at the same from west side or down then it is what reverse that is anti clockwise 
when you look at from the west the direction of the magnetic field is anti clockwise got it children yes it's a very simple method in order to know the direction of the magnetic field even if uh, so while solving the problems you have to apply the same right hand thumb rule in order to know the direction of the magnetic field so children in today's class what the things we have learned the specially we learned about magnetic field due to a straight conductor means what is the pattern of a magnetic field in that we have studied isn't it children what it says children that is concentric circles and current is directly proportional to what the deflection means a magnetic field can be increased with the flow of a current and also it is inversely proportional to what the distance means if distance is increased means the deflection will reduces that is nothing but a propo inversely proportional children got it children okay these important points you have to remember and also the right hand thumb rule got it children